Okay, to, to demonstrate stability today, I have something interesting here. This small chat. That's actually a phone stand. You can keep the phone like this here. All right. All right. I'm not going to use my phone to test stability. It's going to be an expensive test if I do that. So what I have is instead a wooden weird looking thing like this. It's a game. You can look it up. I have these weights here. So let's see what happens if I keep it here like this. If I'm keeping it here like this, see, it's standing up, right? Nothing is happening. It's not falling down. It is pretty much stable. All right. Now, if I change the orientation, remember, I'm not adding any weight. I'm just lifting it and I'm just changing the orientation, how it is kept, right? How it is kept. Got it? Or let me keep it in the same thing. All right. Let's see. The moment I lift the hand, what is going to happen? Right? Nothing added. No more weights added. I just changed the orientation and it is not stable anymore. Why? What do you think happened in the first case versus the second case? If the weight has not increased, if the mass has not changed, why did it fall in the second case and why it did not fall in the first case? So why some objects fall and others don't? Let's try to find that out. Okay. I'm bringing in a cylindrical object. This cylinder is symmetrical. So it's center of ma center of, so it's center of gravity is right at the center. That means the weight of the objects acts along the vertical line drawn from the center. Now here is the key idea. If that vertical line from the center of gravity falls inside the base of the object, it is stable. All right. Let's bring in another identical cylinder. Now I'm going to tilt it just a bit. Okay. Tilted. Now if we draw a vertical line from the center of gravity and the line still falls within the base of the object, it is stable. But now let's go a step further. I'll take a third cylinder and this time I'm going to tilt it even more. Where is the center of gravity? The center of gravity is right at the geometrical center of the cylinder. Now what happens? The line from the center of gravity falls outside the base. What is the consequence? If the line from the center of gravity falls outside the base, it just topples. So and it is unstable. So what is the conclusion here? Stability depends on whether the center of gravity Stability depends on where the center of gravity is. If the center of gravity falls within the base of the object, like in the first two cylinder, the object is stable. If the center of gravity falls outside the base, as in the third case, it just topples. Here is a fun experiment you can try. You know, it's not just objects that need balancing. Your body depends on it too. So sit in a chair like this, just like in this picture. Now try standing up without bending your body forward. It's almost impossible, right? Why? Because your center of gravity is somewhere around here. And if you drop a vertical line downwards, it falls outside the base. And what is the base? Base is your feet. A line vertically drawn from the center of gravity falls outside the base. It's unstable. You'll fall backward or you won't be just able to get up. But in, uh, in this case, if you, if you lean forward and try again, what happens? Your center of gravity also shifts forward and now the vertical line falls within your base. That's your feet. And just like that, it becomes easy to stand up. Okay, let's go back to the problem I posed in the beginning. Remember that weird looking object? In one orientation, it stayed upright and in the other, it fell, even though we didn't change its weight or mass. So what's going on? In the first orientation, as you can see here, the center of gravity is around this point. The vertical line from the center of gravity falls within the base and when that happens, the object is stable. But when we change the orientation, here is where it gets interesting. The center of gravity shifted. It's now positioned higher for the whole object and the vertical line from it falls outside the base. And what happens? The object becomes unstable and topples. So yes, even though the weight hasn't changed, and the mass hasn't changed, the position of the center of gravity has changed and that's the real reason it falls in second case. So if you want objects, buildings, bridges, any tall objects, anything, anything standing on the ground to be stable, we have to make sure, we have to engineer, we have to design in such a way that its center of gravity falls within its base or 
you are building something to topple